two words that will ruin your life. Really believe this. And I hear this a lot. And these two words block all opportunity, solution and growth. Yet I would say seven out of 10 people, roughly speaking, I engage with or try and help. Their default is just automatic is to say these two words. And then they say it again and again and again. And no matter how many solutions you offer, they say them again and again and again. And then there's three words that I think can completely change your life uh, and open up opportunity to you uh, and create solutions to problems, if you really want them, of course. So, um, and it's a relevant time because at the end of this month, my new book, Opportunity, comes out. Opportunity, seize the day, win at life. Uh, And it's all about how to spot opportunities that are already there and then how to seize them, leverage them, know which ones to take and which ones um, to turn down. But that's for another time. So the two words that I think that ruin entrepreneurs' lives are, yeah, but. Solutions offered to them, yeah, but. Uh, you know, you can um, make money on clubs, yeah, but I haven't got time. Uh, yeah, you know, you should be on um, TikTok, yeah, but I haven't got time. Or, um, you know, you should charge X for your service, yeah, but there's not a market for it. Or, yeah, but I've not been doing it long enough. Or, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. And what yeah, but, or yes, but is, is a, a lack of desire to solve the problem. Whereas if you change yeah, but to tell me more, then that opens your mind to opportunity. So don't be a yeah, but person. Be a tell me more person. Now, often people will say things like, yeah, but it's all right for you. I hear that all the time. But I just don't want anyone to be naive. The more you achieve, the bigger problems that you attract into your life. New level, new devil. So it doesn't get easier. It gets different. It doesn't get easier. You get better. So instead of saying, yeah, but it's all right for you, but yeah, but I've got kids. Yeah, but I haven't got much time. Yeah, but I haven't got much money. Yeah, but this thing happened to me in 1985. And it's not that I don't care. It's not that I'm being insensitive. I'm saying this because I do care. Because if yeah, but is your auto response, now, some people say, oh, but Rob, it, you know, it's good to look at the, you know, the challenges with a critical eye. Yeah, it is by saying, tell me more. Tell me more then. Tell me more. And you can trust, but verify. That's absolutely fine. You can be a little bit sceptical about the solutions, but trust that they are there, but verify the validity of them. So just notice yourself if you say, yes, but, yes, but, yes, but. Especially if the yes, but then turns into, but it's all right for them and it's all right for you. It's really important to remember that every winner was once a beginner and every master was once a disaster. I just want to say thank you to someone who's just donated stars. Richard, thank you very much for the stars. You're a legend. Um, By all means, if you think that the work I do is good and the content that I do is good, um, donating stars to me. I put it all back into my foundation, put it all all back into my brand. Um, Yeah, Richard has just said, I like, how do I? How can I? Because tell me more is, oh, I'm, I'm open to the solution. Now, by the way, if you're being coached or mentored or you want help from people and they offer you solutions and you keep going, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, in the end, they won't want to talk to you. They won't want to give you the solutions because you're not open to them. So sometimes I think people ask me and then just, yeah, but, yeah, but, and I just think, well, why bother asking me then? If, If you don't want help, don't ask me. So tell me more. How can I? Who can help? What's the solution? These are all good three words that will change your life. But yeah, but won't. So I hope that's been useful. Just a really quick video. Just wanted to keep in touch with you on Facebook. As you know, many of you know, I've been very busy and active on Clubhouse. My username is at Rob Moore. Put your username in the comments. Just put the light back on there. Yeah, share your username for Clubhouse in the comments. Mine is at Rob Moore. Come follow me there. I run daily rooms. Um, I interviewed Floyd Mayweather recently. Uh, Theo Pafitis on Clubhouse, Ronnie O'Sullivan on Clubhouse. That was all in the last week. Um, actually, at 9 a.m., I'm going live uh, talking about Harry and Meghan's $500 million uh, dollar brand. 
So stay tuned for that. But just a quick bit of content for you, uh, just to, um, you know, keep it coming. Turn yeah, but into tell me more and you'll change your life.